Hello friends, welcome back to All and Law and this is a medical video lecture anatomy. And today's topic of discussion is Castlebeck's area or Little's area. Castlebeck's. area or littles area and this is really very important for uh, clinical practice so before starting a discussion on this I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends so let's start and this area comes in the what you call um, uh, nasal septum okay and let me draw let me try to draw this okay mm -hmm. this is if this is what you call sinuses okay and this area I call sometimes you know it's called as a uh, Kesselbeck's area or uh, Kesselbeck's uh, triangle also okay so we, I'm gonna mark over here and this is the area because the what is the clinical importance of this area is it has a lot many arteries over here anastomosis and if there's any injury to this area uh, it causes bleeding from the nose and that's why okay so the most common cause for the bleeding from the nose in older patients is um, hypertension but in uh, what you call uh, in children it is due to picking okay so let's start okay now you know the arteries the most important artery I'm going to talk about in uh, this the definition by the definition you can call this little area as the anterior inferior part of the nasal septum so this is anterior inferior part this is anterior inferior part okay of nasal septum where four arteries and nostomos to form a vascular plexus and that is known as Kesselbeck's plexus or little's area so which are those arteries I'm gonna discuss later but let me start with the most important basic arteries the uh, very important that is external carotid artery you know external carotid artery right external carotid artery so from the external carotid artery, the artery that gives a brand that arrive, that is known as a facial artery. Okay, the facial artery. And from the facial artery, there is another artery known as superior labial artery. Superior labial artery. Okay, from the superior labial artery, there is another artery that arises that is known as septal branch there's a branch known as a septal branch okay so um, if i have to draw i will draw like this and show you this is what we call it as a uh, uh, septal branch of um, superior labial artery that is from facial artery and the facial artery in turn arises from the external carotid artery okay um so the one of the branch one of the artery that anastomosis in a uh, Kesselbeck's area is a septal branch of a superior labial artery from the facial artery. Okay, so there are four arteries I'm going to talk about. So let's talk about the another artery that is, a, you know, the external carotid artery. It also gives a branch that is known as a maxillary artery, right? Maxillary artery. So this from the maxillary artery, the two artery arises one and the two the one is known as a greater palatine artery greater palatine artery gpa the greater palatine artery and this greater palatine artery goes and anastomosis over here that's the kesselbeck's area so this is the second artery this is the first i'm going to talk about and this is the second okay the greater palatine artery right from the maxillary artery, there's another branch that is known as the branches of spinopalatine artery. Branches of spinopalatine artery. Okay, spinopalatine artery. And this spinopalatine artery goes and gives anastomosis over here. 
and that is known as that is the third artery we can remember as okay so now let's talk about the the other last artery that is from the internal carotid artery let me draw over here the internal carotid artery it gives a branch that is known as a ophthalmic artery ophthalmic artery okay ophthalmic artery from the ophthalma ophthalmic artery there are two artery arises you know the anterior ethmoidal arteries and the posterior ethmoidal arteries the anterior ethmoidal arteries anterior ethmoidal arteries and the posterior okay forget about the posterior for time being okay for anterior ethmoidal arteries that goes and gives anastomosis over here so this is known as a little area where the four arteries anastomosis one is septal branch of superior labial artery that is a branch of facial artery in turn is a branch of external carotid artery um, then we have greater palatin artery that is a branch from the maxillary artery okay that's the second right from third that's the spinopalatin artery that arises from the maxillary artery and the anterior ethmoidal artery and the fourth one this anterior ethmoidal artery which is in turn a branch of ophthalmic artery that arises from internal carotid artery guys this is little's area or Kesselbeck's triangle little's area okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video i am sure this video is really very helpful for you and thank you so much for watching this video if you like the video please thumb up and please do share our videos with your friends take care